All right, welcome to part two. Let's go back into this rule about what we are going to start needing to do to, to, make, to make these crazy things uh, not happen, because this really isn't helpful. The calculator is really just saying, uh, no thanks, that's just too crazy. So I'm going to take that number and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust it up into factors. I'm going to turn it into mod a sub n, actually I could write this up here, times mod b sub n. So that's, that's all we're doing. I'm just um, going to take the the product of the mods is equal to the mods of the product that kind of thing. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna break this up into two numbers that multiply because certainly this is this is an easy number to find factors of right. It's 349 to the 457th power, which is the same as something like 300. Oh, let me write while I talk. So in our case, we're worried about something like 349 to the 400. Why did that? Why does that always happen? 457th power. I could easily break that up into something like 349 to the 200th power times 349 to the 257th power. Those are much smaller numbers, and they multiply up and make this. So we'll, we'll be using techniques like that. Because if that one works, and that one works, and then we mod them, I'll get two numbers that I can then multiply and figure out, uh, again, what the, what, the, what the answer to this thing is going to be. So let's, in fact, let's try those exact things I was just saying there. So uh, would it work if I did 257? Yes. OK. So I'm going to take that one times, I just did that one, that one right there to make sure that it worked. But if I do the, a 257 and a 200 in here, that'll tell me uh, what I need. That number, of course, is not mod 713, because I've just taken these, taking something mod 713 times something else mod 713. So guess what? If I take this mod 713, it will give me the answer I want. Oh, and lo and behold, it's actually 2. Well, does that sound familiar? That like, sound like something I was maybe hoping it would be. What's the number of my original ciphertext? Oh, it's a two. Okay, that's wonderful that that turned out that way. Okay, so what I've been trying to do here is take uh, 349 to some god awful huge power is <laughs> supposed to come down and be uh, mod 713. It does actually turn out to be two. And I should do that with the rest of these. So the next one is actually 654. Okay, let's do that one again. 654 to the 457th power mod 713. Uh, it's really going to be hard on the calculator. I can just I just know that right now. If I go mod, uh, was it 654 to the power of 457? The calculator is going. Why are you hurting me so much? These are huge numbers. I say no, nope, not going to work. But we could go something like well, maybe maybe 257 will work. Again, I'm just doing that to make sure it works. Okay, it works. Times I need 257. I guess the rest with this 457. I need 257 plus 200. That will work, but then again, of course, I have to mod that down again. Keep boiling that thing down to 17. Uh, and again, we're just checking the answers here, but we kind of knew that that was probably going to turn out to be 17 because we actually know what the original encrypted message was, and it was these nice numbers here. So uh, I don't know if you just want to trust me, but if I keep doing this, 415 to the 457 power mod 713, guess what is probably going to turn out to be uh, 24. This is a lot more exciting if you don't actually know what the message is. Um, that part's a whole lot more exciting and, and maybe feels more productive. But yeah, believe me, that's the way it worked out. It says convert from numbers back to letters. OK. And of course, we get the message we started with. A couple of weird things here. First of all, in the book, in the worksheet, it says reduce mod n. That doesn't make any sense. We reduce mod n up here. Also, what's a little bit weird here is in this kind of cipher, this is the encoded encrypted message. Uh, it's It doesn't go back into letters. Uh, encrypted, sorry, it's hard to write with this thing way up in the corner. Uh, encrypted message is this thing. It's not a list of, of letters, really. It's not a different word. It's not a rescramble word. It's actually, it comes across as these numbers. If we mod these down into this area, it actually turns out to be a, um, probably a lot easier to hack, and it wouldn't be unique anymore, right? We need, um, yeah, we, things, letters, I think, would fall on top of each other, and then they wouldn't, they wouldn't unscramble the correctly. Anyway, I don't need to keep you much longer. Um, I will see you in the live Zoom chat momentarily.